If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you're probably seeing some of the paintings that I've been up to lately. I've been trying to spend a bit more time on other art outside of tattooing, and I feel like it's always a good way to just kind of expand your horizons and figure some things out uh, outside of the skin. So I have to do something to fill my time right now, and I've been injured. I got hurt in jiu-jitsu a couple weeks ago, but I'm doing a lot better now, but I've been trying to um, be productive in the meanwhile. So I'm getting a little more art done than I normally have been doing, and I'm just going to share some of that process with you over this next little bit of period of time. I'm going to try and make some cool videos and put some stuff together just to share a little bit more since I have some time for editing and stuff like that. That stuff takes forever, though, and I'm really having a hard time with it. But it's a learning curve and something that I'll probably get better at over time. Uh, I didn't always paint really hardcore. I wasn't always like super into painting. But uh, during COVID was actually the lockdown was like the first time that I really got interested in it because it was the only way that we could really make a living at the time. Uh, with tattooing being shut down the way it was because of the rules at the time. Uh, I was only able to really do paintings, so I sold like 52 paintings, like every painting I ever made, plus a bunch of new commissions, all kinds of new stuff. I didn't paint anything really for a couple years after that, so I was catching up with tattoos and just trying to just stay busy tattooing. I ended up not having a lot of art to show for all the painting and stuff that I've done over the last few years, so now that... I kind of have a little bit more time recently. I've been trying to put it into creating some stuff that speaks for me and shows my style to show off like a, a wide range of ability. I have some cool ideas that I've been working on. Uh, I'm going to get into and I have some that I've already done about six in, but I'm trying to make a big series. Like I want to get like 20 paintings done. That's my goal. Hopefully I could do that and hopefully I can share like a bunch of the process with you too. Well, here's the painting that we're going to be looking at, a little sneak peek. I think I'm learning kind of how to find my vision a little bit quicker too, like not doubting myself as much when I go into the idea I'm kind of just going for it, I guess, a little bit more. Sometimes it's like a longer process, but other times I tend to find the subject matter a little quicker, I guess. Sometimes I'll spend quite a few hours just kind of by just some different colors around, trying to figure out general idea of what I'm going to be getting into. I'm not really focused in the beginning of uh, the process on uh, making anything that's like too structural. Just kind of finding a flow and having fun with the background. Trying to find some colors that go well together that I can add on to is something that I can contrast with later. It takes a lot of focus to paint. It's hard to talk and paint at the same time. I've seen some other artists doing it though and thought maybe I can tell people some things that might be interesting while I'm doing some painting. Right now I'm just working on the underpainting. That's what I would call this. So it's just like the values more. I'm not really focused on the final color scheme yet. I'm gonna be putting some greens into the frog. So a lot of the values are built with dark blues, so they'll blend well with the with the green. I like to feel like the art is taking me somewhere else. Another universe for a little bit. Always like to come back though. A lot of people use art as therapy, and I never really thought about it that way until recently. But I think that art has gotten me through a lot of shit in my life, so I'm grateful for it. And I never even really set out to be an artist, but that's what happened. I just wanted to be free. I didn't want to have to go to work and clock in like everyone else did. And the only people I've seen living 
the any kind of life that I thought I could see myself living was tattoo artists. Loved the lifestyle before I loved the art though. I just wanted to be like the guys that I looked up to. They were cool. Man, cool cars and cool lives, cool art. And they made other people feel good about themselves. Other people wanted to be around them and give them money to just do what they love to do. Who wouldn't want to be like a tattoo artist? So that's what I've done now for 12 years. And the last like four or five years I've been painting too. And I feel like it's extremely important. I should have done it sooner. It's the one thing I regret in my whole career is just not starting to paint sooner because it really made a big difference. This was like my third sitting in this painting. I'm not crazy overworked on it, and like some paintings I've put way too many hours into, and then I'm 10 hours into a painting that I could never sell for the value that that's worth, time-wise. Stuff just takes longer than you think it's gonna take most of the time. I have a couple of unfinished paintings in the other room that are begging to be finished, but I just got bored of them, some of them, and it's hard to go back to because uh, we just know how much time it's going to take. And I sketched out really complicated designs. And now I have to like finish them. <laughs> but eventually I think I will. It's just like, kind of got to let it breathe for a while sometimes, I guess, and get to it organically. Because it, or if you're like unexpected, inspired by the uh, idea anymore, like you're just over it, then you're gonna be able to see that in the piece. So I'll just wait until I got it in me. Stuff happens like that. The life of an artist is a, it's odd, you know? Like, you can't always just clock in and be like, all right, you know, like, here we go. <laughs> Sometimes, you just have to be able to do that somewhat though to tattoo though, but that's why tattooing is such a unique form of an art career. But I don't have the same kind of limitations when I'm painting, and I don't have to make a living off painting either. Everything is a little bit... I don't know, it just feels a little more freedom, like, like I have a little more freedom when painting, which is nice. It's more therapeutic than other art forms because of that. Everything becomes so commercialized when you become a professional artist. Everybody expects you to sell everything. And 
to be all about money all the time. And the people who are the most valuable are like not really always the ones that are the most interested in money it seems like so I'm just trying to follow the passion and trust the rest of it so it will kind of work itself out it has been so far so I'm just grateful life's good for watching be sure to like and subscribe i'm going to be doing more stuff like this in the future